guys, it is DBZ Fitness here. I'm gonna go ahead and start up another Xenoverse, the Shadow Dragons. So my goal right now is to get Gogeta clothing. I need some good clothing that supports uh <laughs> super attack. And uh I went ahead and bought my French button one day and final time back. And me, whenever I used it, I was like, oh, wow, this is a weak technique. Well, what you do, or what I didn't know, is that you can just hold on to it for all your key. And being a Super Saiyan, you can hold on to it for as long as you want with no key loss. So what does that mean? That means you have the strongest technique in existence right there. There we go. Let's see what kind of technique. 100 times! Oh, no, you're big man! Come here, So, whenever I had that technique, well, now I had the deal, I had the third DLC pack, obviously, in playing with mission, right? Or, no, this is the second DLC, actually. Well, in the third DLC one, there's a mission where you go to Vegeta, and you fight from their base form, all the way to Super Saiyan 4, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, and then after that fight, you get to Super Saiyan God, Goku, and Vegeta. Well, me, I can get all the way up there, and the farthest I've gotten is killing Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta. But I always, I cannot kill Super Saiyan God Goku, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku, with my given time. So if I get it at this clothing that I hope it is, I'll put a little more strength through my super attacks, and then I believe I can just do such a dandy job. Take my I thought I could sense up doing a Shadow Dragons mission. Why not get both? Go ahead and get all three Super Saiyan 4s in the league. Two Super Saiyan 4 Gokus, Gogeta, and Vegeta. Alright, let's see. Can't waste any time here. Let's go to the glaciers. Yeah, if you guys want to go ahead and leave uh, in the comments what kind of missions you'd like me to do, uh, yeah, go for it. I'll stick a request. Uh, maybe we would be Gildo for a mission, for example. I, I do my best. All yeah, our friends whenever I have over here. So Junior Wars, that is fun. <laughs> Those little buggers are a lot of fun. Fight me! I'm gonna go take back Kyra! Ah! That's actually a hard technique. I used to be really good with this character back before buying a DLC. But whenever I bought all the DLC, you know, I never used to die to the key. It's all about attacking. How you doing? So, he's actually a really good character, but he's actually not, I guess. He has, he's just going for a place in the if you want to say. For instance. Ha! Ah. Isn't that kind of degrading? Let's see. And I see, that seemed like a perfect time to go ahead and do my 100 times. But, you know, like, Drop! So I'm new to this. Um, I made it, I went ahead and made a Twitter account, same as my user DBZ Fitness, spelled exactly the same. Go ahead and give it a follow. That'd be nice. I'd probably go ahead and uh, tweet them. Since I probably didn't know about Dragon Ball Z, I have some knowledge on YouTube. And so put some new knowledge. Try to get some DA pictures. If I can, get some really dope vines. Um, all of it's going to be towards Dragon Ball Z and fitness itself. I went to, uh, speaking of fitness, I went to Europa in Dallas, Texas the other day. I lived in San Antonio, so it was like a four hour trip. And I came back with the most stupid amount of supplements. I mean, just a wall of my stuff. There we go, there we go, it's perfect, perfect. And I'm flying away, dang it. I'm the time, bam, bam, come in! Ah! I need to start doing better because after I do this, I fight Omega. And whenever I beat Omega, he'll respond into uh, Omega's altered form. Leave the map, I'll kick his ass a little bit, and boom, I to Nova Shen on demonic power. It's a handful. It takes a little bit. I give it like seven minutes. Six six minutes? No, no, not too that bastard. We'll find out get there. Can you stop running for me, boy? Eat my mother! Hey! No one is 
isn't as strong as Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Oh, but that could be real fun. You know, well, we bought a two-day pass, but it only stayed for one because of traffic reasons. And it was just amazing. I met C.T. Fletcher, I met Jay Cutler, Ronnie Coleman, Mike Rasheed, Big Rob. I mean, this is a very, very well-developed people in this place. Um, I got an autograph. My brother, my brother didn't work out, right? But he's working out a year and a half before me. So he's not trying to be bigger than me, right? He was doing hardcore lifting a uh, year and a half before me. So he's, he's, he's understandable, uh, Right? So, I went there, and one of his idols is Jay Cutler. And so, I waited in line. I got, I got the picture with him, right? Oh, Paul loves it. So, you know what? Hey, Jay Cutler, you want to give me a favor? Yeah, give me an autograph. Yeah. What am I saying? To Rome, stay bigger than his brother, Jay Cutler. And whenever I show my brother that, he was just upset. Just <laughs> and I think that was one of the best expressions I've gotten from all year. Just seeing Jay Cutler. That was it. That was it. Let's see. One Let's see whatever I can all do here. Drop some really big fat knowledge on me. This technique, okay. Got it. Oh man, I'm actually getting pretty wrecked right now. There we go. Boom. But Europa was a lot of fun, honestly. Um, the whole driving kind of sucked. And the people I was with, uh, they knew a lot more than me. So I was kind of out of the loop, I guess. But overall, the experience, it was super fun. I'm going to go next year and try to build up until then, you know, straight working out of the gym. I went to Destination Dallas. Before. Destination Dallas. It was live. It was one of the old school gyms. Yeah, but it was just one of those old school gyms, you know, stuff you see um, Daniel and Bailey working out at, uh, C.T. Fletcher's gym. Uh, just classical gyms like that, you know, street stuff. Um, you had more of your actual body. I've even saw a couple of women who were significantly bigger than me. And I guess if you go down, if you go to your gym, I mean, you see that, it's freaky. You see a girl weighing like 225, straight up mass, shredded, it's freaky. When you go here, it's so common. It's just so common. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Go ahead and give an energy capsule. I'll probably get to just do one mission today. Not that much. To get something out there. I can do a great amount of damage. Yeah, but I came home and I had just a, like, I don't even know, like a bag full, like a significant sized bag full. Oh my god, the pre-workout we found there was stupid. It was just so much pre-workout for that place. There were so many interesting syringes and a joke. It was, I don't know, it was a blast. I had a blast there. Dang it. So this right here isn't exactly hard, all three of them. But the only difficult part is actually getting the flow thing, because I just never want that. That technique sucks sometimes. Oh. You should probably go get him. I'm gonna hope he gets him, right? He's gonna get him. I don't mind taking these guys on. But if they don't fight me, thanks. Can't even do any damage to these people. Alright, get his head. Oh, Vegeta goes down, then I'm screwed. Oh, there's a. See, there it is. Whenever he gets back to zero, anytime he gets revived, he's gonna he has still keep on defeating. So, I need to go ahead and try to end this kind of quickly. Oh god, I'm not sure if I can actually. I'm gonna have a handicapped player, I have no stamina. Let's see. I'm gonna hope someone else gets into this too. Not one. Not one, and I'm out of key. And Vegeta's handicapped now. He's done. 
that's the thing I love about Super Vegeta, his combat is unrivaled, it's just stupid sometimes. It's so fast, so powerful, so much of a combo. But whenever his Z-Soul is activated, yeah, it's it's good for like... Let's see what kind of... Oh, my attack. I'm gonna drop this right here. Um, after his Z Soul is activated, you know, uh, everything just keeps depleting no matter how many times you get him up or anything. I would think it would just restart, but not. Come on, there we go, there we go. So we got five more minutes. Yeah, see if we can keep going down to this game, honestly. Yes, perfect, right there. Wow, I really thought that was gonna kill him. And I'm getting wrecked right now, they're just putting work on me. If I kill Omega, it'd be a lot simpler. He had three bars of attack compared to the other two. And them two aren't even their fighting techniques and all that. Go ahead, come on, keep a stamina, keep a stamina. There we go. All three of them at once. Dang it, I goofed. And just try to end this. See, Vegeta. Oh, okay, if Vegeta drops and I'm gonna be screwed. Okay, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Come with that. There we go. Let's make it down. Jeez. There we go. Hundred times Big Bang Kamehameha. This technique so far is the savior of the Super Kamehameha. It's not even all that strong. I mean, yeah, it's just one big PD. But this thing has more of a wide range and a bang. It's way, way more of a wide range and it's more powerful. I can go ahead. And... I'm actually having a lot more difficulty than any time before previously. I think it's making for a good one too. No. And I'm down. Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is down. Oh god, no! No! Get me, Goku! Get me! Get me, Goku! I just... Oh no, I think it's good. I have zero faith in Goku right now. I have zero faith. Ah, uh, there it is. Well, didn't get it this time, but maybe next time. See, did I get it? Oh, wow, I got his pants. Wow, what do you know? For losing. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching. Sorry about that. I'm going to go ahead and sign out of this. Uh, catch you guys later. Beat up, but up, boop.